What's up guys, my name is Jess, we're gonna go over all 21 skill fruit trees in the game, nice and quick, simple, they are easy to locate from above, from below, doesn't matter, mostly from above, my bad. What you need are these two requirements, a flying mount and a riding mount. So, number one, we're gonna head over to Mammoth's to teleport. Right here is the mammoth, Let's teleport there. I'm gonna try not going off on a tangent, turn directly behind yourself, set the aggressiveness to not attack, equip your flying mount, preferably flying mount, and hide directly, or fly directly east, northeast, a little more towards east. And you're right here. This is what the tree looks like. You can f see it from a mile away. It literally has this distinctive, weird shape to it. And there's a lift monk and an egg. Next, you're gonna go back to your teleport and go to the small sediment, and then that, just right to the left of it is the tree. Now that you're here, fly directly upwards in a vertical motion. Right, and then past the bridge is the tree. You can kind of see the tree right there on the red ledge, ridge, whatever it's called. Boom. Here is the tree, and I hear a shiny. I don't even know if I picked up my, my fruits at the other tree, so I'll, I'll check that out later. Next, you're gonna make your way over to the sea bridge, teleport, teleport directly to the small cove, and then just northeast will be the fruit. Okay, flying mount out. Head northeast and it's right up top. There's a teleport, you just fly directly northeast and it's right here. I recommend coming here with an empty inventory. Unfortunately, I brought my eggs, so there's that. Now, we're gonna teleport to the Aesthetic Falls. Fun fact to the left of this place is the Fenglope boss, to the right is the skill fruit tree. And it's just up on top of the hill, right there. And voila. Yep, good. Now, you need to go past the Relaxosaurus uh, boss, past the Yeoman Tide, and then just to the left of the Investigator's Fork is the other skill tree. So we're gonna go straight to the Relaxosaurus waypoint. Where is it? Here it is. Then we're gonna fly up to Investigator's Fork. Okay, these guys love me and I love them. Now you fly directly up because you won't be able to see it until you fly up. Now it's right there, right across from you. There's a lift monk right below it and to the right, I think, somewhere over there. This is where the Arsox and Univolt likely spawn. Okay, go back to your waypoint and teleport to the Forgotten Island Church Ruins, aka the Felbat area. Okay. Now you're gonna go slightly down into a little ravine-ish cave sort of thing. Head uh, eastward, so, uh, southeast, and then right down there, that's the fruit tree. Now we're gonna go all the way eastwards, and we're gonna go to Vitalia's. So you teleport to the uh, lake center, lake center, you teleport to the lake center and go northwest. Lake center, head northwest. Now you head northwest, and it's gonna be right up on a ledge, right there. Collect the goodies. This is also a notorious location for people to place their base since there's a lot of rocks. Sorry, ores, okay, aka copper. Now we're gonna go to northeastwards over to Elizabeth's um, one. I suggest just flying over. Keep on heading northeast. It's gonna be just left of that tower. Just keep flying northeast. Right there. You see it? Boom, glowing. Alright, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh. Now. I'm gonna make my way to the Veilet teleport because that's where the next one is. So we're gonna go straight to Veilet. Do not use a ground mount because you gotta go up this dumb, ginormous mountain. Okay, I'm teleporting back to my base. I'm gonna store it all and I'm gonna actually give you guys a sneak peek as to what I've been ha hoarding. Boom. Boom. Go right northeast of it. Here we are, Veilet's teleport. You're gonna follow in between the area over there. Right. Yep, you're gonna follow right over there. It's literally just in between. Oh, hang on. Where am I? Yeah, in between right here. This weird little ravine. Oh, the hell, Zephyrs. Too bad I don't need them anymore. Boom, boom. And boom. There is a dungeon and a lift monk. Now head back to the waypoint and teleport to Verdash up here. That's Verdash. If you have your base set by the coal slash copper, copper place, you can just teleport there. So we're going to go to Verdash. I'm gonna fly over, but I'm actually gonna teleport to my base because that's where most people put their base, their second or third base. 
once you get here, you're gonna locate the ores, the copper ores, okay? Let me show you guys. Right here is the copper ores, a whole plentiful of them. And then right below it is the tree, right down there. You see it right there. Nice, beautiful, glowing tree. Boom, boom, boom. Make your way back to the waypoint. And now we are going all the way up north to the sand dunes entrance. And then we go directly up north again. Now that you're here, bring out the mounts and fly directly up. Up, 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 up. It's hard to see. You can see it from a bit of a distance. Right there, you can see it now, but watch. When you get closer, the trees start to cloud it. It's right behind the trees. Now you're gonna just continue flying upwards. No other words, my bad. Because the next one is right there. I recommend just flying directly north. It's up there. You can see it. You can see that little guy right there. You kind of see it. So just fly up there. Unlike its predecessor, it is not shrouded by trees. Okay, nice nightmare bar. Now we head directly to this tip, the Green Iceland tip, because it becomes Greenland and then it becomes Iceland later. And for map reference, it's right up here. All right, there it is, right there. And I think there's a chest right next to it. Yep. Nope, I don't have a key. Oh, it's a gold key! Oh... Two lock-on layers is disgusting. Next, you gotta go over that direction. So that direction is... Right here, surrounded by eight quartz. Now, the trick here is to teleport to either one of these places, the Palgen place or the other place. So you just go back over here and teleport up here and then just fly. Or you can just directly fly. If you have a good mount, you can just directly fly. It's just past these two towers, three towers. Once you get to the towers, just begin looking down. It's highly noticeable right there. Boom! And to the left of it is a dungeon. Be careful though, because the Cybelex and big fat giant mammoth spawn here. And the Cryolinks. We got no good ones. Okay, make your way to the Land of Absolute Zero, aka King Paka's Teleport, and just make your way over to the Sakurajima place known as Mena Sting, and we're gonna go past the Anubis statue. So, who are they? Oh god. Ugh. And it's gonna be right around the corner. Yep. There's a statue right up on that ledge. You can kind of see the tree off in the distance right there. And you should be getting some end game fruits normally it's normally yeah we got comet air blade let's go let's freaking go now all of these are going to be within fly distance next one will be a knocklum okay knocklum all the way here next to a dungeon highly noticeable you're just going to be flying south well west ish all the way down past all these trees once you start seeing a big like this uh, this opening right here that's the dungeon that's the tree and knock one spawns just below us. Along with a chest and three others. Boom, look at these big fellas. We got dragon, meteor, and volcanic bane. Oh god, 51, buddy. You better be safe. Now we are heading directly southeast to the southern beach. Okay. Southeast to the southern beach. Put your thing over, put your compass over there and just fly towards the beach. And you can kind of see it right there. You see it? Believe it or not, you can see it from right here. Fly a tiny bit up and that's the fruit tree right there. So head directly there, northeast, buddy. Right against the southern eastern portal. Sorry, uh, section where beach meets land. And there's a chest here, so that's the dandiest part about it. Boom, boom, boom. Multi-cutter! Multi-cutter! We got multi-cutter! And a legendary spear! And ultra spear! Damn! Next, you want to teleport to the ruined fortress city. This teleport is... Oh my... God, is this a supply drop? Meteorite on this place? Hang on. Oh my god, it's Xenoguard. With no guards in sight. This is wonderful. Okay, well. Oh my god, I don't have my weapons. Oh my god, I don't. Oh wait, he's all new, but the location is just over here. We're gonna go there right now. Okay, so you're here. We need to go up there to the pointy tippity tops. See it right there in between these like five trees. Boom. We got any trees? Nope. So, oh my god, we are. Yo. Let's go back to the waypoint. You're gonna go to Anubis statue. Into Anubis statue right here. Mount Anub Mount Obsidian Anubis statue. We're gonna fly or run or mount, whatever you wanna do, up the road. Literally just up this road and it's right there. There it is. 
And also you should... Well, you get the idea. Dragon Meteor. When I have Dragon Meteor. This is it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now we're going to be teleporting all the way to the marshland. Right over here. Marsh Island. We're going to make way over to this little cove area. If you place the base here, then by all means. Okay, here we go. Number 21. Uh, yep, we're going to follow this weird roadish thing. Just to the right of it. And then, just over it is a nice juicy hole that you're gonna plop your butt into and there's a chest spawn that spawns right at the tip of the top a lift monk that spawns down there a dungeon that spawns behind it you got trees you got a chest did i say the chest was up there too yep and you have an egg spawn directly behind you so this place has everything i already claimed this though so we're gonna go with that all right that's all 21 peace and if this video helped you out please consider liking the video and subscribing peace